So my character in the play is called Sally and she is the Chief of Staff, uh, which is a, quite a new role within the government. It's something that Tony Blair kind of brought in. Um, and it's basically to stop the hordes of people coming to the Prime Minister. She's kind of the filter and decides what's on the agenda. They also run lots of stuff past each other that's to do with press and policy and strategy. She runs the weekly meetings. Um, so what attracted me to the part was the fact that she was in charge <laughs> and I like being in charge. <laughs> well, second in command or third in command actually after the Chancellor. What makes this play stand out, as opposed to all the other plays that are kind of around about the election, um, is the fact that it's dealing with the, the whole of politics and the whole of Downing Street. It's not just about, it's not just set in an election. It's got a pace to it. It's uh, two years before the election. There's been a coup and we're running up to the election. So um, it's, the election is actually not really the main focus of the play. It's about uh, how a Prime Minister changes um, throughout the course of two years in government. Oh, I think my favourite is political sitcoms. I mean, there's, there's loads of them, but the, the thick of it obviously is amazing, the West Wing is amazing. Um, but I also think that, you know, Blackadder's a political sitcom, really. Um, so yeah, I would say that, uh, and I'm trying to work out whether my character, whether this would be Blackadder 2, um, the, the Elizabethan one. I'm trying to work out whether my character is Blackadder or whether I think actually probably she's Melchit. It's a difficult one to decide what they take away from the play because everybody takes so many different things from, from a play as complex as this. We were kind of in rehearsal saying we, we can't believe how dense it is. We're kind of picking it apart. So I think if it, some people will take, uh, will, dis, will try and decide what political party we're um, aiming for um, because we've deliberately made it kind of ambiguous. Um, but I think that they may have a greater understanding Understanding of how uh, the press is the kind of third wheel in the in the triangle of the public, the press, and the government, and how influential they actually are. How would I describe Feed the Beast in three words? Well, three of them are probably swearing, so I better not say those. Um, Pretty bloody awesome. <laughs>